Mission 24, White Bird Part 2. I get a feeling what this is about. I'm sure you guys too. The intelligence vessel Andromeda has picked up another encrypted transmission in Belkin. They have changed the code so it took a little longer to decipher the message. The content is as follows. N attack by ASAT on Okchebersk to commence at 1400 hours. Apparently efforts to secretly repair the sabotaged Arkbird are now complete. We confirmed this by observing its orbit from the ground. We believe that a Belkin nuke has already been loaded onto the Arkbird. In order for the Arkbird to attack the city of Okchebersk in Yuktabania at 1400 hours, it must make one major correction to its orbital trajectory. To do this, it must first drop into the upper atmosphere and use air friction to lower its speed. We have already calculated the time and location in which this maneuver will occur. Your mission is to destroy the Arkbird. You will only have one chance to stop it. Destroy it before it withdraws from the battle zone. And of course, it involves the Arkbird, like uh, Part 1 did. Except this time we're going to be destroying the big sucker. So, <laughs> it always makes you wonder what what happen if you were in the, in the player's shoes in the cockpit rather <laughs> so this is all air to air mission nowhere to ground target so we'll go a squadron of F22s again captain please choose my plane captain please choose a plane for me to pilot captain which plane should i use are we launching in this formation Rosgrees, launch So now we get to go craft on craft with a big sucker. A <laughs> giant. We were so close. I feel like the Belkins are always one step ahead. Don't you, Captain? I feel that way too, man. Still, Blaze, we can't give up now. We haven't run out of luck just yet. Let's go. Let's do it, fellas. I can see it now, Nagase. Yeah. It'll be tough reaching that altitude. Hey, is everything okay? What do you mean? Wait, the Arkbird! It just jettisoned something. There's an escape capsule. That letter Sean said, it got away. Do you see an astronaut? Yeah, it's alright, we don't need him anymore. Oh, damn it. He must have done something to the control system before he got away. Switch. Damn, we're slowing down. We're gonna dive deep into the atmosphere. Captain, this is Archer. Doesn't the Arkbird's approach path seem too deep? It kinda looks like it. Its altitude is too low for an orbit change. That white bird was a symbol of hope for Captain Nagase. And now, she must try to shoot it down. I'm in attack position. Awaiting orders. And for my next trick, I'm going to attack the Arc Bird with machine gun fire. Go ahead. Now watch out for the laser beams.
Alright, there goes the laser. We're good. Come the engines. Not for long, it won't. I believe it, all right. That's that. Down goes the big sucker. Down goes the giant bird. Good grief. We succeeded in halting the Arkbird's nuclear attack on the city of Okchebursk in Yuktabania. The Arkbird crashed into the middle of the Saras Ocean after attempting to detonate the nuke above Osea. Miraculously, there were no ships near the area of the crash site. According to our investigation team, there is currently no evidence of radiation fallout in the area. So good thing we got an S in this mission. The interesting thing is about how to get the S, you have to clear the mission 
uh, within seven minutes. So that's how you get the S. So after you destroy that big gigantic engine, that's when uh, uh completes the mission. And uh, if you complete it under seven minutes, like we got six minutes and six seconds, we'll get the S. So that's pretty interesting on how what determines the rank of the mission. So at least we won't have to deal with that mission, even though it's not a problem. But the main problem of the mission that kind of annoys me is the laser. And I heard... I haven't seen it myself, but I've seen a couple videos on YouTube. Uh, that on the harder difficulties, whenever you get to the last engine, that's when the arc bird will behave like a... It'll behave like a normal plane. It'll just completely ignore the physics. So I might actually do that whenever I feel like it. I might, I might show off that glitch and see it for myself, but we still got to finish off the campaign to do. We've got work to do.